Divi has a brand new update which allows you to drag and drop files straight into the builder. So rather than explain this, let me show you how this actually works. Today's episode is brought to you by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so as you can see here, I have all my files here on the right and over here is my WordPress admin dashboard. So let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So we're just going to call this page drag and drop. So we're going to call it drag and then we're just going to go ahead and use the Divi Builder. Right, so uh, for this, we're just going to click on start from scratch and then we're just going to close this. So the scenario that we have here is let's say you're working on a client's website. They've provided you images, text files, audio files, video files and all that good stuff. So instead of adding all this information one by one, of course, this takes a bit of time. But uh, in this update now, it makes that process much, much easier. In fact, you can drag everything all at once straight onto this page. And let me show you how. So over here, I'm just going to highlight all my files. Okay, so let's say I want to drag all these files. So just to explain what these files are, uh, I have image files, I have a text file over here, I have a video file, and also an audio file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this on to my builder and then just let it do its thing. Okay, in a moment, you'll notice that uh, all my content will be added onto this page. So as you can see, it's adding everything. The most interesting thing is the builder actually knows what type of content it is. So let's say you upload four images. It knows that this is going to be a gallery. If you, inst uh, if you upload, let's say, a video file, it knows that it needs a video module. If you upload a text file, it knows that this needs to be a text module. So this is really, really clever. And uh, I think this is a fantastic update because it saves you a lot of time in adding all these things one by one. Okay, so now let's take a look here because I think everything is done. So if I scroll through this, through this page, we can see that all the content has been added just by dragging and dropping. Right, so now if I click on save, this is where now we can go in and start making all our tweaks. So let's say I want to add a background here. So I can just go into my section settings, click on background, add my background color like that. Save that. And let's say I want to add uh, an image to this. So I can always go in here into my module settings, click on overlay, and, and then add my image overlay. So all my uh, media items are all in my media library. So I can just select my file here, upload an image. And now that becomes my overlay image. So you can see here, that just in a very short space of time, I was able to add all this content onto this page. So let's say over here, we want to make further adjustments. I can always come into uh, this module settings of my gallery settings. I can always, you know, come over here and uh, rearrange these images. And then I can come over here to elements, maybe remove the pagination and also the title and caption. So I just remove that and save. If you want to make further adjustments, you can always go into the uh, row settings. OK, so let's say you want to make this row uh, nice and big. You can always go over here to design, sizing and we can use custom width. And maybe you want to use, let's say, a percentage. Change this to 70%. Save. So as you can see, I'm making all these quick adjustments as I go. So same applies here. So let's say over here, we want to uh, change the color of this background. So I can always come into uh, module settings, go to background, and then I can just, you know, change my color over here. So this is a quick way of actually working with our files in Divi. So never has this been done before on any page builder that I'm aware of, whereby you can just drag content straight from your computer onto your builder. So this actually connects or creates a link between your computer and your builder. And this is really, really exciting news. Okay, so now that we have this, say you want to uh, further format this, you can still go ahead and do your uh, drag and drop. So let's say you want to split this text uh, module. So you can always come over here to change column structure. Uh, change this into two columns and then drag your module wherever you want. Okay, so now I can drag my module straight onto uh, this column. And now I have my information there. And let's say I want to um, cut down the text that we have here. I can always go in 
and get rid of some of that text. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to use. But you know what? I'm not done yet because I want to show you another really, really cool thing. So to just give you an idea of what sort of file types we can uh, load onto our builder, uh, we can upload CSS, HTML, GIF, JPEG, PNG, text, OTF, TTF, AVI, M4V, MOV, MWV, MP4, MP3, WAV, and JSON file. So in this next example, I want to show you how to add a JSON file. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here and uh, get rid of all this content. All right, so let's say you downloaded a layout, maybe from a different designer, and you want to load it quickly onto your page. Or maybe you've designed a layout and you'd like to use it on a different website. So all you have to do is to export it and save it as a JSON file. So let me show you how just by dragging and dropping that JSON file actually creates all that content that you need for that particular page. All right, so over here, I have a JSON file that I created earlier on. I'm just going to click and drag it onto my builder. And over here, it's, a, it's asking me to uh, replace existing content. Now, I don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and import the, build, the builder layout. So what's going to happen now is it's going to load all the contents of this page. And as you can see, all my content is now on my page, which is great. Okay, so this is how easy it is you can add content onto your page. Now, here's one little cool uh, trick. Now, let's say you want to add content onto your page, which has HTML in the actual text. So I'm just going to delete uh, this section here and this one too. Right. So I'm going to load up a text document which has HTML embedded in it. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here onto my builder. So I can already see here that my HTML is there. I'm going to go ahead now and save. And now we can see that all my text is actually formatted. So what you can also do is, let's say you have a CSS file. You can also drag and drop your CSS file. And that CSS file will apply all the settings onto that particular page. So this is really, really cool news. So I uh, suggest you go ahead and uh, try this out. But in order for you to do this, you need to be using the latest uh, Divi update, which is Divi 3.12. So this is the feature or the update that will give you all these features. All right, so this episode is brought to you by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. And also, if you want to take your design skills to the next level, I have a Divi Blueprint 3 course, which pretty much shows you how to build awesome looking websites with Divi. And even better, I'm going to be updating this course once WordPress Gutenberg is out there and also once the integration is solid. So if you buy the Divi Blueprint 3 course, you'll automatically get updated to the latest course which I'm currently working on. And this course is going to be around $497. So if you get it now at the 50% discount, you will actually make a great saving. All right, so that's all I have for you in today's tutorial. Uh, check out my uh, live website reviews on Saturday and also on Wednesdays at 6 a.m. Eastern or 11 a.m. UK time. All right, so uh, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.